The Texas House is marking today as Texas Missing Persons Day. It's been said there are more than 55,000 cases of missing Texans. Jacqueline Sarkeesian is live at the Capitol with more on this story. Morning, Jacqueline. Good morning, Dave. This day was initiated by a mother who lost her daughter. Her daughter's been missing to this day exactly seven years. She's with me right now, Joanne Lewitzer. Thank you for being here. You started this day, and this is just one step. You want to take Missing Persons Day nationally. I do. Um, I, my goal is to try to bring more awareness for our missing people. And, um, you know, today is just one step on my journey, hopefully, to a National Missing Persons Day. And was it hard for you to get the ball rolling to make this happen? Um, actually, for this, it took me about two years. Um, yeah, I, I didn't really pay attention in my government class in high school, so <laughs> I had to do my research all over again and find the right people and make the right connections. And finally, once I did uh, meet the right people, then it only took me about four months total, you know, for the whole process of submission and then till today. Um, so. I hope it doesn't take me another two years to do a National Missing Persons Day. Now, this is a parent's worst nightmare. How has it been for you to cope with this and knowing that Allie is possibly out there and she's missing, you haven't seen her? What has it been like from your perspective? Sorry. Yeah, it, it, it is definitely a parent's worst nightmare. Um, not knowing where your child is. Um, it's, it's a roller coaster, really. I mean, one day, one day you have your, your, you know, your good news. Uh, we hope to have good news, but then, and, and a happy days like today. So these are happy tears. And um, other days when you're down, you know, you just, sometimes you want to give up. But then I think, well, if Allie's out there, would she want me to give up? And when I think of that, that's what keeps me going. And, uh, you know, trying to keep awareness for her and, um, you know, helping other families in the process. Well, best of luck to you. Thank you for being here with us and doing a live interview. Really appreciate it. Thank you. So the reading of that resolution will start around 10 this morning. Then Joanne and other families that are here who have missing children or a sister will talk with their state representatives and hopefully bring more awareness back to you in the studio. Yeah, Jacqueline, we really do appreciate these uh, family members telling their stories. Yeah, Such we do. important work being done. Thank you. Yeah.